All right, Deb, so this is the brother. This one would be perfect. He's a big chicken liver, just like Colby, but uh, he hasn't been neutered, which is the only problem I have with him. Oh, uh, because they start causing problems. He's got a default down. If you sit down, he'll lay down. Very, very devoted. So if he's training with the pager, I think you've got the pager, don't you? He'll walk. He's, he's more of a kangaroo, though. I can just throw him around. If I just walk, he'll walk with me. If I add the pager... with the other brother. I think they'd get along perfect. And he's not real big, but if you got him neutered, he'd get huge. Trust me. <laughs> Trust me. That's what happens. Get him neutered, they get huge. Uh, so he also does the fetching. He's probably a lot bigger than him. Hopefully you've had him. I think you already had him neutered. Anyway, girl, that was him. He's all trained. You'd have to work with him. But, you know, part of the appeal is he's trained for a companion dog. Again, and they have to kind of learn your routine. But when you sit down, oh, watch, he'll lay down. He doesn't even really know why he's doing it. <laughs> And I'm just doing everything with the pager, so if I want him to walk with me, and again, it's, it's not as easy as the book.
and he said, what is he? He's just mirroring my movement. I forgot, he does do a little bit of the sideways. But he's also, uh, you remember Deb, remember when they were little puppies and we'd do the thing to go on the platform? So, you know, he's, he's just got that big time now because I added the page. I can do it from way over here. Watch. All I gotta do is act like I'm going that way. Oh, he buys it with line and sinker. Anyway, he's getting the house, everything. He's great trained. So, I don't know, you'd have to bring Colby out maybe and see, um, you know, if they got along. I think they'd be really cute together. And Labs is one breed where you can have two big males together. Um, and they, you know, they don't get any bites. And stuff. All right, he's got a real good recall too. Watch. <laughs> I can't even do it. He's got it by such a default. Oh, that shoe bottom up, if you can see her down there. Oh, she's absolutely awful. If you said, what does she do? She spends all day. Oh, maybe shoe bottom would be a good dog for you, Deb. What about that? Shoe bottom would be the perfect system. She could then destroy your life the way she's destroying mine. Now, but this dog, what this dog has is just a default. He's got something called the Billy Joe Armstrong syndrome. And you would want to preserve that. He's not looking to get his head rubbed and his ribs slapped and all that crap. Nobody is. I think to myself, I don't want anyone touching me. The last thing I want is my ribs being poked on. Anyway. All right, Deb. Uh, yeah, I just thought of that, though. You, you don't need to buy these dumbbells. You, you just get you Joe to make them. It's absolutely perfect. You know, that might be a good thing to make, girl. You know, that might sell at the booth. You know, if you made dumbbells, people would buy it. Sure, the dog would chew them up. They'd have to buy more, but who cares? You know, that people like those for their dog. They make cute sets of, uh, you know, they have like sets where they have like three sizes or something. Anyway, guys, I will be right back. <laughs>